What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm super excited because I finally have some awesome first gen Toyota Tacoma content for you in the form of a full walk around of a local viewer's truck. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. Alright everyone, this is my buddy David who I actually just met a couple weeks ago at a Tacoma World Meet. Super nice guy. And this is his super clean first gen Toyota Tacoma. So today we are going to do a nice thorough walk around of this thing inside and out. So first of all, uh, what year is it? All the specs, all that stuff? It's a 2003 okay. uh, off-road uh, deluxe and it's a V6 automatic. Um, pretty stock standard truck when I bought it. So this is a 2003, as you guys know, it is 2018, so 15 years old, and look at the paint on this thing. I'm sort of in the sunlight here, you can see. This thing is beautiful, and you did say you got your brother out in California to do the whole paint job and restoration, yes. so to say, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so what all was involved with all that? Well, so when I bought the truck, what I didn't realize was the Toyota Tacoma frame rust issue. Oh yeah, uh, and, uh, <laughs> uh, the everyone's the, favorite. Yeah, yeah, and the, the frame was uh, was pretty rusty. Uh, didn't realize how bad until uh, I talked to my brother. He said ship the truck out to him, which I did, and he put a hammer right through the through the frame rail. So uh, the frame pretty much needed to be replaced, and he was able to find a frame from a 2004. Tacoma mm -hmm. that, uh, was a you know a, a basically a duplicate of this truck. In fact, that shell came from that truck. It was uh, the truck had some significant front end damage, uh, uh, top end damage, but the frame was pristine and perfect. And from California, had zero rust. So we yeah. did a frame transplant. And then once we did the frame transplant, my brother got carried away and decided, you know, we can paint the truck. So <laughs> one thing led to another, and before we know it, we start modifying the truck and he's been uh, he was really uh, critical in setting up and doing all that the modding never stops yeah <laughs> so uh, he did the suspension we so we went uh, total chaos okay. uh, upper, upper control arms we did uh, Fox 2.0 so we got a two two inch lift on it um, and then great uh, ride yeah awesome ride you see, these are the so 2.0 shocks for the Fox yes. okay I love the uh, the Total Chaos uppers. I might have to upgrade from my light racing upper control arms to those at some point. So yeah. So what had happened when the when we replaced the frame? The problem was that the entire undercarriage was rotted away. Yeah. And um, that you've seen the pictures of it. It's it's mm -hmm. it was bad. So as we were going real through, quick, uh, go ahead and check out the pictures right here. And here's just a quick few shots of underneath the truck showing you the new frame and everything nice and pristine we went through and basically had to replace everything um, we went with uh, an add leaf on the back uh, and new shocks. The shocks were completely rusted mm -hmm. through. Are these Fox shocks back here also? No, it's uh, get it. Yep, yeah. Icons 2.0s. Yeah, so we All right, a, uh, got the add a leaf, yeah. add a leaf, and then the Icon shocks. And uh, that was really it for the suspension. Um, we did. Uh, uh, we started to armor it as well. Okay. So we put. Uh, Low Got range. the sliders right here. Yep. Okay. We have, uh, Stubbs welding in California made 
uh, these uh, sliders. Okay. And so we had we welded those on. And nice then, stick uh, out, protected from those shopping carts too. Don't forget exactly. about all that. The door dings <laughs> be gone. And, and these are weld on, you said? Yeah, these are okay. welded on. Nice. And then uh, we went with the uh, low range. I uh, see that right has there. The gas tank skid plate. Very nice. It's pretty cool. I've, I think I've only seen one company make uh, gas tank skids for the second gens, and I can't remember who they were off the top of my yeah. head, but. Yeah, it, it, it was, uh, that was really the only option I found for the first mm -hmm. gen, and it's a bulletproof tank. And you said your truck did not come with the factory, you know, oh, it had the eighth of an inch skid tank? Factory uh, um, plate underneath the gas tank, but even the gas tank was in bad shape. So we took oh, okay, the gas yeah. tank from the donor truck. Once that rust gets in uh, there, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's it everywhere. It's so cities, yeah, it's everywhere. It's nasty. Um, the body on the truck was actually in pretty good shape. There was no rust on the body. Um, so, you know, there was some light damage, little dings and, and mm -hmm. nicks and stuff. To be here, expected. Yeah. Which is. Uh, why he was when he went through that that's why the truck basically looks yeah. brand new yeah i mean I, I hope this comes up on camera i'm trying to get you know the sun directly that is just beautiful yeah it's a it's he did a really really nice job yeah and this is the toyota burgundy or what do they call it do you uh, know or it's for, the, for that red, year uh, red pearl red pearl okay yeah and you said you do have a front skid plate also, right? I do. Yeah. Okay. Um, get so up I here. Because, again, the uh, the skid plate for the gas tank and the skid plate for the nose were, were uh, completely rusted through. And Toyota makes them pretty thin to begin with. So we went with skid row for the for the front skid plate. I still need to, boot, to pick up the rest of the armor that goes uh, mm -hmm. covers the transmission and the transat. Are you going to get that from the same company? I'm probably going to go with Skid Row. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, it all kind of matches up. Yeah, like one piece together. connects to the next. So. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So we also have a brush guard up here, which I'm usually not a fan on, but on your truck, I love the way it looks. I don't know what it is about it. Yeah. I'm being honest. We, well, <laughs> so what happened was because we've replaced the grill, we've mm -hmm. replaced the, the Yeah, I mean, lights. even the grill. I mean, the paint is amazing, but the grill, I was looking at your headlights when the mailman just came, and I mean... Yeah. You guys all know what I've been going through with my custom headlights lately, and these are 15 years old, and they look brand new. That well, is, they are brand new headlights. Oh, so, you should so have told me that it. off camera. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, no, so, they look great. Fogs so, also. So new headlights, new new side markers, new mm -hmm. grill, uh, new bumper. The bumper was actually rusting from the back. Oh, end. yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so we did some other things, like when we when we bought the the new bumper, we. Uh, used what's called POR15. Uh, it's a really good uh, anti-rust. Um, it's you hit POR. the back of the bumper with it. Yeah, so yeah. you hit the back of the bumper with that, and the whole underside of the frame. Before we put the frame in, we used POR15 over all of it. We used uh, Eastwood, uh, it's Eastman or Eastwood, I forget. Uh, internal frame coating because that's actually where these frames rot is from the inside out oh yeah so you really have to treat the inside of the frame rails so yep people and often uh, like hose down like they get in their truck during the winter time and hose it down but they often forget to take the hose and put it on the yeah. inside of the frame oh, and give absolutely. it a good flush you get, get all that road salt, salt there and you got to get the stuff's brine. poison yeah. yeah in northern virginia we get Ugh. the brine and the brine gets splashed up yep. on everything around here if there's a threat of snow they dump Oh. 20 metric tons of that salt. I don't even know if it's salt anymore, but it's disgusting and it's terrible for our cars. It's so really great. Yeah. They they do have uh, um, the way that we the way that we set up the frame right now. I didn't do it this season, but next season mm -hmm. you get under there with uh, fluid film and just yep. coat the hell out of it just to make sure yep. that it's that it's uh, that you're covered. I saw the probably the same kit you're talking about that has the power gun. They have this little like misting nozzle you put on the inside of your frame and i didn't yeah. find it until we were about two months into this winter so i'm probably going to do yeah. the exact same thing next winter and the, the whole kit with the gun in like three gallons of fluid film i want to say it was like 150 bucks so I, I small price to pay yeah yeah and it, it does it shouldn't take that long yeah. it does have a kind of a quirky smell it, it, you hey use this use a little bit of it from a spray can and if yeah. you, if you yeah. can tolerate the smell which doesn't bother me yeah. i'm like go for it awesome uh, all right, here is the lighting, and yes, I know it's daytime. So for the front light bar, is that like a hybrid? Because it looked more, is it spot in the middle, flood on the sides? Exactly, or? Okay, yeah. okay, so yeah. This is, this is spot. I know it's not going to come up on camera, but you can and hopefully are, see. Yep. These are floods, so very they nice. You, it gives you a nice coverage nice on the spray. lower part of the road. 
uh, up top. Up top. Uh, I've got oh, two man. spots in the middle. Yeah. It already got burned out my retina just looking at it like that. Two spots in the middle. And, and then, then the floods uh, on the side. The floods on the side really, uh, they kind of serve as my ditch lights. Yep. Yep. Um, they, so it gets nice coverage all around the, the nose of the truck. Um, really kill the battery yeah and a couple rear uh, facing these floods also these are yeah. floods yep. as well and really this is uh you know i'm, I'm big into camping this is uh you know you, you open up the back yep um, you can see everything you're working on up, you, you know you have your uh your campsite set up and now this is usually the camping workstation exactly love it Okay, so this is a, I love this roof rack. Who makes this now? This is a Smitty Built Defender. Okay, there uh, it is right there. And Smitty Built makes uh, a couple of different styles of this. They, they, they all look basically the same. Uh, the basket is the thing that I like. Mm -hmm. It's got, uh, I think it's rated for 300 pounds. Um, and uh, this is a multi-piece uh, bolt together unit. So you can actually extend it to whatever size you need. You can buy the you can buy additional segments for the internal. That's that's inside. a cool feature. I like the uh, the textured finish on it too. Yeah, exactly. It's nice. And um, this is the uh, uh, Defender tool rack, which I just put on, and I'm not really too happy with this. I'll be honest. <laughs> it's, um, as you as you look at it. I like the idea of being able to have the tools mounted on the outside. The problem is, is that it's because this is a single pl plug yeah. and plate. It's really a two-person job to, it is, put, to yeah. put tools up here. So I found holding, that out myself. You're yeah. holding a shovel and you're holding an axe, <laughs> and then you have to use to put on these wing nuts. So yeah, uh, this may go away, and I might end up going with some simpler clips and mm -hmm. clip the the shovel and the uh, the axe up top. Yep. Yeah, I found that, that out the hard way on the X shovel mount. I had my wife holding the top tool because otherwise mine was on my bed rack, but same yeah. thing. You can't hold the bottom one tight enough to be able to get the other one in position to put the plate and the it's, lock and the wing exactly. nuts. Exactly. I was it, like, well, how the heck am I going to get this off if yeah. I need it? So I usually yeah. just keep my axe on there, but I don't know. I might, like you said, I might just switch it up eventually yeah, too. Yeah, I, so. I, I think, that, you know, I love the fact that it's it's got the same exact finish as the rack. Yeah, it blends in. It in perfectly and all that. It's just really difficult, especially because it's elevated up as high yeah. as it is. And we do have a nice paint job on the truck. <laughs> Don't want to scratch that paint. Exactly. Coming back here to the back, we have a sweet off-road bumper you see here. So what brand is this? Um, so 4 by Innovations, mm -hmm. uh, 4xinnovations.com, uh, sold me the bumper with the swing out. And it came, uh, I got the options for the jerry can uh, and the uh, high lift jack. So that was all Very nice. kind of part and parcel to it. It's a really super solid uh, unit. Um, I was going to say, I've heard other people open theirs up, and it sort of like sounds like an old rusty door, and that was nice and yeah, smooth. No, this so. is, a, this is a, an absolutely wonderfully made. Yeah, you got your whole workstation ready to go when you're camping. Now, are, yeah. do they make, or are you planning on adding, I've seen like fold-down tables yeah. right here. Or? They, they do. They That's have a cool a, feature. They do have a, um, an option. It was like a $180 option. Yeah, they're ridiculously expensive. I don't know crazy. why. I, I would think you could fab up something and maybe put it on a spring or, you know, a hinge to... So, so my, my long-term goal with the vehicle is to be able to, because I generally tend to tent camp, mm -hmm. um, and the way it's configured right now, what I really wanted to get, they and I've seen them uh, a tent unit that would go off the back. So you basically yep, uh, yep, open I've the seen back, those. Um, you know, drop your your tailgate. Um, then you can use this as a as an actual bed because now you have six feet and mm -hmm. you have a um, different units that allow you to have a nice air mattress in the back. Um, hey, you're then, ready to go. And then you're kind of good, but then you have you can't sleep in the open. And if you just have the small units that kind of hang off the back then you're paying your feet out and where do you do with all your gear it's sitting outside so uh, the idea is to get these tents that actually merge onto the back um, so that's one of the reasons I didn't go with the table was mm -hmm. because the intention was to kind of get something that would go right along here yeah and then be able to use this okay as my kind yeah of staging that makes area. sense did you, is this bed liner on here? Did you do this for the tailgate uh, or? We did the, the, the entire bed is rhino line. Okay. So it's very a, nice. It's an, a, an actual rhino line coating. We took out the, the factory plastic um, bed liner, which was pretty, pretty beat up. Pretty worn, yeah. And this is just rubber mat uh, yeah. material that I found that was pretty affordable. And then I, you know. Ready my, to go camping my, box my, or? My recovery yeah. you know, tools, my 
my uh, all my uh, stuff, toe straps and all that stuff are in here. We did not forget to talk about tires, obviously. So these uh, are the everyone's are, favorite KO2s, right? Yeah, BFG. Right? Um, 265 75s. Okay. Um, we didn't go. We were. I was originally thinking I'd go with like a, a 33 you know, inch tire, mm -hmm. which would require a little bit more lift than I wanted. Yeah. Um, Cab this, mount, trimming, all that fun stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so we ended up, um, I, you know, th this is a conservative vehicle. This isn't really, this is really more of an overland style. That's what I'm looking for. I use it more for dirt roads, not too technical. Craigslist for a thousand bucks, six of them. Whoa, so I have nice. one extra. Man, <laughs> so, you're ready to go. Yeah. So I was actually thinking, oh, I could put one more because I really need six tires, right? Yeah, um, for that deal, you know. Yeah. Uh, and these these tires, by the way, I can smell them. They are brand new, aren't they? I can still smell the uh, like that new tire smell. Yeah, yeah. They they're uh, they've got uh, well now because I drove the truck back from California. They've got about four thousand miles. Uh -huh, there you go. Yeah. Um, so yeah, still pretty new. But yeah, love the KO2s. Yep. Um, reviews Can't go wrong. Were fantastic. I love the sidewall. Gives yeah. you a little bit of grip on the edges. Um, Seems really like the perfect mud. combo of all terrain and mud terrain, exactly. I think. So. Yeah, nice nice balance. Yeah. And to be honest, you know, I mean, I, when I was driving cross country, I was worried about the sound and everything else. Mm -hmm. not, not bad. So yeah. quiet, really a nice ride. So great combo. It's one of those things people often find about after they get their tires is how loud they are. And mine are loud. They aren't nearly as loud as what I thought. So I'm, I'm happy with that. So. Yeah. Now, are you going to rotate your spare in with your other four to oh, keep yeah. the wear even and all that? You know, yeah. I guess. Yeah, do you have a, a wheel? Miles away. Yeah. From uh, from the, yeah, yeah, you just getting it in. Pattern. There's, yep. a, there's a diagonal pattern. Yeah, there. the so this goes X. to the right front. And yeah, you do the X and um, just keep moving around. All right. Yeah, the biggest challenge was trying to figure out what what uh, tire pressure going on it. What are you running on these? I'm running 30 right now. Okay. Everything. I've seen a whole range of what people run on their tires for all kinds of sizes and brands for street use yeah. and no one seems to really know so i'm like it's anywhere from 29 which i think my factory toyota tires were 29 yeah. to like 36 and that's a, quite a bit of a range you know as far as you don't want to do anything to make the gas miles down at tacoma worse exactly. and that's something that can certainly do well, that I actually, so uh, we actually uh because the you know the tires themselves if you look at the beads uh, mm -hmm. that'll, it'll say you know you can do these things up to 65. yeah um so up I, to you can like for mine yeah. when i did it they said max tire pressure and it does say it on the sidewall of 80 psi so the absolute geniuses who did my tires what psi do you think they put it at so i was riding home chipping my tailbone like what the heck yeah 80 psi yeah we, thanks guys <laughs> we, uh, we when we when i was doing the drive because i was worried about mileage because i really want to try and get as i didn't know what my how what my sure, yeah. distance was going to be mm -hmm. so we popped these things up to 50 yeah for the drive and uh, the mile, gas mileage was in the 17, 18 range. I've since dropped them down to 30 yeah, a just more because of the ride. Yeah, yeah it, it is a little, a little on the stiff side. Okay. Suspension eats up a lot of it, though, so it really hasn't been an issue. Yeah. Um, and then the, the uh, Toyota TRD, um, these are uh, Toyota option um, uh, simulated bead lock. Yeah. Uh, but we great color. On Craigslist for a, a, a deal. Yeah. So they look they great. Pass up on. And a few shots from the inside real quick just to show you it's also super clean on here. No questionable stains on the seat yet. Yeah. Uh, nope, it's all, all yeah. good. Aftermarket uh, head unit. Yep, I yeah. got a Pioneer uh, system that uh, also goes he had, with... He had Miley Cyrus on there earlier, just want you guys to know, but he switched uh -huh. it up for you. Uh -huh. Are you sure? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> got your light switches, all that. You're saying you got your uh, iPhone yeah, so hardwired is, in. Yeah. So this is a pro clip mount, which is really cool because um, there you go. Basically, you yeah. you can pull the phone off real easily. Just snap it on. That's nice. It's always a pain trying to fumble because you're always driving too. Exactly. And, you know, so yeah. and then using it for nav, having it up high. In fact, what's nice is because I run a seven plus, it's a large phone. The camera is actually above the dash. There you I go. Can use the I can video while I'm driving. Which That's is pretty nice. cool. But, Very then, uh, nice. Yeah, Scion. You got the switches. Yeah. Factory rockers. And last, you do have a cap on your truck here, yes. windows and everything, and you did have a small issue with this yes. uh, from the windows from the factory you were saying, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about that. We have a common theme, which is some, sometimes things... Water leak. is everyone's enemy. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, 
first time it rained, uh, water was pouring in through the holes in the roof mm. from the brackets. There were no yeah. gaskets. <laughs> uh, there are now. Okay, that's good. Um, and uh, by the way, pulling the rack and installing gaskets and then bolting it back on when you're doing it all by yourself. It's is fun. Really yeah. fun. Yeah. Really fun. And then uh, the windows uh, were leaking on me as well, so I had to. I had a couple of stages. both sides or just one both side. Sides. Okay. Okay. Um, and I had a couple of stages of taking them off and trying to to get a good uh, seal around them. Um, part of it's the age. This is a, I think a 12 or 13 year old innovation yeah. camper shell. Uh, don't you think know the rubber or whatever just deteriorated it's over time just or it over cracked? Time, yeah. yeah. It, it, realistically, I should probably just replace these windows, but. Uh, at this point, and they're working for now, though. Right? It is working. It's dry, for now. exactly. Since you're using, since you're planning on sleeping back here, that's definitely nice to yes. have. Yeah, yeah, not yet, but there, potentially. There, there are a couple of little things, <laughs> and you can actually see if you look through. I don't know if you'll pick it up on camera as you go through the difference between the. the there is a gap, obviously, between the the cap and the sh and the, mm -hmm. the cab. Um, there's not a boot between the two. So okay. If you, if you do go with a cap, you have to decide if you're going to get a boot. That runs between the two and if you don't which i do not have every time it rains you get water pour down between, between the two so it, your windows your back window and your front window on the cab both have a lot of water and you get water oh, yeah. spots and and, it, and you can't clean it without taking the shell off so just, and your ocd kicks in and it F drives you crazy it just, yeah it's one of those things yeah. right because you can't not look at it in the rear view mirror once you see it you can't unsee it exactly yeah um Something Outside similar that, situation with my parents yeah. when I was younger, but I don't want to talk about that I right now. No, no, that. let's not talk about that. Um, <laughs> and then uh, uh, the, the big thing that I do like about having the cap, even independent of anything else, is it is nice to have it locking and be able yep. to just throw stuff in the back. Security, yeah. keep, keep stuff dry once you get whatever issue. Yeah, that's. Uh, I was literally, I've got a rack on mine, but I was literally 50-50 on which one I wanted to go with. So, yeah, yeah. I love the caps also. Nice and convenient, nice and uh, it makes it streamlined too, so, you know. It should, it, you know, honestly, it should help with mileage a little bit. Yeah. Um, How much does yeah, this one weigh, do you know? Uh, like ballpark? Well, I'm able to stand in the back and lift it up pretty easily with okay. the rack on it, so it's not that, nice. it's not that bad. It's fiberglass, I guess? Or? Yeah, it's yeah. Fiberglass. Okay. And it's coated, uh, it's got a carpet coating on the inside. Yeah. Um, but again, we picked up the, sh just for perspective, we got the frame and we got the shell for fourteen hundred dollars your full frame and the shell full frame yeah so uh now that was just the frame that wasn't the rear diff because we ended up getting the rear diff from the Replacing donor truck all, yeah. because it my old diff was <laughs> a little like, flaky it looked yeah. like graham crackers yeah crusted over it oh. so. Thank you for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a blast talking to David about his truck. Maybe if I'm lucky enough, I'll get the truck on the channel again for some future mods that David plans on doing. If this is your first time stopping by, please go ahead and subscribe. Comment below on what you thought about the truck. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so you are notified every time I upload, which is twice a week. And go ahead and share the video on your social media and help me get the Tacoma Holic name out there. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video.